All right, so I'm here with Monica Gallagher at uh, Baltimore Comic Con, and um, I was looking through uh, the different books you have here, and I noticed you, you seem to have two big themes. Uh, one is magic, uh, and, and one is kind of like biographical. Um, let's start with the magic. What, what attracts you? So, for example, the, um, the lipstick, the glitter, uh, was it? Glitter, glitter kiss. Glitter kiss. Yeah. And um, the, uh, gods, gods on um, undergrads, undergrads yeah. yeah. So they, I mean, sure, mythology is not magic, but what, what attracts you to that world? Um, I think it's just adding an element of fantastical with an element of everyday. So I really like contrasting like boring, average, slice of life stuff that everyone can kind of relate to with a little bit of um, otherworldly stuff to kind of accent it or, you know, like um, kind of contrast against what people normally experience. Right. Yeah, and I think it works well with the subject matter you have. So, for example, college is definitely a time of exploration, a time where you're trying to figure out who you are. So if part of figuring out who you are is also figuring out, oh, you happen to be a god or a goddess, that's kind of like an extra little dimension, you know? Yeah, and Greek mythology just plays in so well with, like, morality and um, just issues that teenagers deal with specifically. I mean, as well as adults, but it's more heightened when you're a teenager, and especially, like, college age is kind of glossed over, but there's a lot that you're going through, right. like, about to enter adulthood that right. isn't really covered in high school. It's a lot scarier, I feel like. Yeah, I think I think definitely if, if you're able to go to college, it's a nice safe space where you can kind of be kind of a grown up. Like you can drink yeah. and you can you can have sex and stuff, but you can't really hurt yourself too much compared to like the real world. Right. You know, it's like make believe adult. Exactly, yeah. that's a perfect way to look at it. Yeah. Uh, so, um, how how old were you when you figured out uh, all the the dirty stuff behind the Greek mythology that that all you know how uh, Zeus was and all that stuff? I don't know. I feel like. I feel like I learned that pretty early on. They yeah. didn't really gloss over it when they taught us because I think okay. it was supposed to mean that, like, all the gods are horrible. You shouldn't yeah. like any of them because when you discover that they're all, like, there's no one you can really root for. But I think yeah. that's why people identify so well with them because they are good and bad. There's no, like, idealized, virginal um, god that does everything right. Yeah. Like, they're all a mess. Yeah, so yeah. It's kind I, of comforting. I, I think I'd only had very limited... Uh, interaction with the Greek gods before the Disney Hercules came out, right? Yeah, that and that's kind of like, yeah. oh, Hera and Zeus, it's their kid and all that stuff, and <laughs> right. yeah, kind of Hera's way kid. the opposite of the the real thing, you know, yeah. or real, you know. Uh, and and then of course you have the the biographical stuff. The um, is the roller derby one is that biographical as well? It was, yeah. So I based that on actually I started the comic before I even got interested in doing it myself, and then I was like, oh, I'll give it a try. And then um, I have so it's an ongoing web comic that still like pulls from my experience. So, uh, what attracted you to? And are you local here? Do you play I, one of? Yeah, I, li I live in Baltimore. I don't play roller derby anymore. But oh, okay. I used to play for Charm City. Oh, okay. That's okay. Baltimore's local league. So. so, what attracted you to the to the sport? It's kind of a mix of everything you want. Because um, I was in sports growing up a little bit, but this combined um, athleticism with um, you know like violence, getting like hit people in a controlled environment, and then you got to wear like really fun outfits. And then you got to hang out with a group Attention, of women. Attention, Baltimore Comic Con. We have a. <laughs>、So, um, growing up, were you really into physical sports? Yeah, yeah. I,、um, I think I started out in ballet, and then I went to volleyball in high school, and then、um, late high school I was into karate and stuff. So, okay. Yeah. It's kind of like a like a progression. Start with a traditional girl sport, and then kind of like move further and further away. <laughs> yeah, they all have like things in common, I guess. But、um, but yeah. So anyway, roller derby、yeah. was like a perfect combination of all these things、right. that I, I really wanted. So、right. yeah. So、oh, um, so、uh, what what drew you to write Boobage? That was totally based on my own experience growing up and feeling like, and every every woman feels this way, and I'm sure tons and tons of guys do too. That you have like the wrong body, like you don't have the ideal body type, and you can't ever get it. You feel like really insecure about it. So it's kind of my response to women. Feeling like they had to get implants or whatever, and just be like, you know, this is my experience growing up and feeling like I didn't have boobs, and it should be, hopefully, everyone's experience that they come to accept themselves and be like, so what? So what if I'm different? And we can all band together and appreciate each other's differences.、Yeah. You know? So,、uh, were you、um, in writing the book? Did that help you work through it, or had you already worked through it and you were kind of just putting it out there in in a way that you know well? That's a good question. I think I thought I had already worked through it, but then putting it out has been like a huge help. And I have so many people, like fathers, who buy it for their daughters, or women who buy it who have huge boobs, who said that they got something from it. So it's been like my best book in terms of like bonding me with other people who've read it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think I think it's it's a very.、Um, I think one of the things that's more complicated for a, a female body person is that 
it's it's your thing from puberty, but it's 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 visible, right? So yeah. so most of most of the men's uh, attributes are not really visible other than a beard. So it's not you know that's more of something that you're kind of. Um, have to deal with while everyone around you is also dealing with as well you know yeah and I mean just like society in general the way they view women's bodies is yeah. so different it's so like just like politicized and sure. they think it's there for that I don't know it's just yeah, yeah it's a very bizarre relationship that people have with their own bodies in general yeah. and then yeah female identified specifically sure um, so is there anything that that you wanted to uh, kind of mention or, or bring to light I noticed uh, some of your books seem to be self-published some are published mm -hmm. by Oni Press yeah, um, I'm working on a new book with Oni, but in the meantime, I have a webcomic, um, Bonnie and Clyde, that's the Roller Girl one, that updates twice a week, and um, I have a Patreon and other stuff, so every now and then I release like new mini-comics, and I have one coming out in two weeks at SPX, a new mini-comic, so, okay. yeah. Is that the Small Business uh, Expo? Small Press Expo. Small Press yeah. Expo, right? Uh, local as well, right? Yeah, it's um, in Bethesda, so not far okay. from here. Okay, Yeah. cool. Well, thank you very much for talking to me. Yeah. Thank you. Make sure you check out her webcomic. Jet blue or you